Hi. Hi for not disturbing you. No, 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 not at all. Uh, I was wondering if those opera tickets were still available for tonight. Sorry. Oh, that's a pity. Uh, I thought that maybe you and I could have gone. Together, you know. We could always do something else. Um, was, uh, was that you asking me out just then? That bit just then? Yes. This bit just now is me saying yes. Yes. <sighs> Look, James, I'm really sorry about last night. I can hear this strange whining noise. Maybe my bleep's on the blink. Not speaking. Not speaking. Ever get the feeling you can't do anything right? Tell me about it. Here we are, sis. Wound infection due to strep fecalis. Phil, mm. the knife we never perforated the bow, remember? I'd like to have a word with Mr. Binns in private, please. <clears throat> We've discovered the germ which has infected your stab wound. It normally lives inside the bowel, but I'm sure your bowel hasn't been punctured. So? So I wonder if you've been doing something which might have caused the wound to become infected by this particular germ. Such as? Oh, I don't know, perhaps, let's just say, for a figure of speech, smearing your own feces into the wound. What do you take me for? Someone else's feces, then. Don't you come up with me, sunshine! We're going to clean the wound, continue the antibiotics, and I'd better see an improvement by tomorrow. What a hygienic gentleman. Maybe that's why they call him the animal. She looks much more with it all of a sudden. She's less toxic from the infection. Now, Edith, you going to speak to me this afternoon? Hmm? What's that you're writing? Your handwriting's got worse recently, has it? I won prizes in school. Now I'm so untidy. Edith? Can you do that button for me? That's all right. It's all right. I'll do it. So you won prizes, did you? When was that? Could you keep your arm right up there? When was that, Edith? Before the war. What else do you remember? The king had a silver jubilee. Who was prime minister, hmm? It was Mr. Chamberlain. It's all right. I'm just going to tap your forehead, OK? Who's Prime Minister now, Edith? <sighs> Sorry, you must be tired. It's OK. It's all right. Parkinson's disease. Yep. The physio says she's had no joy with her. She'll be able to do more with her on a geriatric ward. We'll start El Dopa immediately. Thank you. How is she, Doctor? I think she's improving. I'm suspicious that she's an undiagnosed case of Parkinson's disease. I've started a tablet which should help her. Like hell is she going anywhere until we're finished with her? Mr. Major. That's the answer. Fancy another one before we go? Yeah, OK. Sam again, thanks, Pat. Oh, Andrew, um, I know there's a couple more patients to see, but you don't mind if I get off, do you? I'm dead beat. OK. Thanks, Andrew. Dr Colin. It's me. Hi, Alison. 
Dr. Hudson wants a bed for one of her cardiology patients tomorrow, so let's get Mrs. Channing over to geriatrics. Okay. Just hang on one sec. Caroline, you keep Edith where she is. I'll transfer one of the others. Look, I'll be there. You know how important this is. Alison, I want to sort things out between us just as much as you do. I won't be a bit on the side anymore. You say you'll tell her nothing happens. Leave Alison. Or we'll stop seeing each other. Well, you said it, not me. You'll have your own room. See? They're nice, aren't they? Look at the garden. Look at the apple trees. Well, they look lovely in summer. Some more of the new tablets, Edith. Cab's here. You don't have to go, you know, if you, if you don't want to. Not taking things for granted, are you? You wouldn't do that, would you? Assume something before you've made sure? <laughs> Hearing nicely. Let's you out of here, Mr. Binns. We think we found the nursing home. Well, actually, your mother today. Excuse me, Mr. Channing. I'd like to make arrangements for my mother to see the home for herself. Maybe you should come and see her first. Bernard! Mom! <laughs> 